Yes. So, uh, ni hao. Uh, my name is Jet Lee. Uh, I'm a ninja by profession. Or at least that's what uh, all the children I met, they told me. <laughs> so, I think that today might just be the, the time to step out of that undercover research role and, uh, and say that actually my name is Martin, is Benel Tortobon. Um, and um, I came here uh, as an interaction designer. Uh, and to me that means uh, that uh, I'm, I'm interested in using design to solve the equation technology plus people equals wow. And, uh, and also, um, I'm part of a research group that I'm representing here. Um, and uh, we, it's called Frugal Digital. And Frugal Digital is all about starting from uh, local research in exploring new ways to uh, appropriate and ex exemplify um, technology that builds on uh, local resources, local skills, and uh, local imagination. So what I've been looking at is the, the radio technology in the sense that radio technology is something that's widely available. It's already well known. Um, and um, I'm exploring if there could be other ways to think about it. And here's another way for you. Uh, this is Misola, who's a farmer in Cape Town. And right here now he is broadcasting to his whole community uh, using the cell phone in his hand. And uh, he's using this device the mobile radio station that I've been prototyping, and uh, basically uh, what it uh, allows us to do is to have a radio broadcast just from a ra uh, mobile radio station in the box. And actually we are broadcasting right now on air on 101 FM. If you should be interesting, uh, you can tune in if you have a cell phone with a radio or a radio, and you can listen to my talk uh, twice at once, if <laughs> that should make it any better. Um, but also, I can say that this builds on, um, because it builds on a cell phone, that means also that uh, if you call this cell phone, my cell phone now, uh, your call will also be on air. So our conversation can be broadcasted on the radio. So let's hope that uh, mom decides to call in now. Because anywhere in the world you are, you can uh, be part of our little community radio now. So I'm using this uh, prototype to explore what could it mean if we think differently of the radio instead of just being something you can listen to. It can be a two-way thing that you can also talk to. So I went to find uh, people with a loud voice and not afraid to speak up. <laughs> and I definitely found them here. They were afraid, not afraid to sing out loud even. And they warmly welcomed me. Um, and um, we had a great time here at a meeting. And, um, I also met some radio producers at this meeting who told me that uh, there could be an interesting potential with the broadcast I had, because today the community radio is a little bit often too general for the communities to really find relevant to listen to the, the long, longer discussions and keep on listening to the radio to inform their community and be relevant. So they came up with the idea that we can have this uh, localized microcast. So you have uh, looking at a confined community where you can um, optimize, as they say, um, the content um, to be specifically relevant to this community. And they, they exemplified with a call, call center where we uh, did a broadcast for the workers. Um, and also we learned in a sense that because we used the radio to still broadcast to them and it became about them only listening, it was this old school radio still that it's only that you can listen. They didn't take ownership of the media, even though we spammed them a lot with all our SMSs. Uh, so, um, I, um, in parallel to this, I also tried to uh, engage with other communities that, uh, that already have a strong community, and uh, this is the Itemba Farmer community, and Itemba means hope, and hope is certainly uh, your community here, and your community is your hope, because um, times are tough, and you cannot always rely on having food supply yourself, and you can borrow from your neighbors and rely on their help. So I went to meet um, with Auntie Rose, and the aunties of the community are wise elderly women who uh, are often sought of uh, uh, by, for advice by the other community members and to, um, to on, on big and small matters. So I asked her basically, uh, what if you can have your own radio broadcast? And uh, she looks a li little bit like she's looking at me now, <laughs> and I'm wondering uh, what. And, um, and then I rephrase and I say, okay, uh, what could it be useful for? And she says, or what are the challenges you face? And she says, it's very, very hard to plan for just a simple sharing of uh, basic information. It requires that you walk door, door to door with uh, 300, over 300 flyers 
uh, to invite people, and then you're not even sure that they will be there. And if it starts raining, you have to do it all again. So um, it was a great challenge for them, and she said it could be interesting. But enough of the talking, we went on with the actual broadcast, and here you have Ms. Ola again, sorry, <laughs> who's, um, who's actually um, saying, everybody of the Temper Pharma community, uh, come to Angie Rose's place and broadcast yourself. And this notion of broadcasting yourself reminds me of a certain uh, media, social media platform I heard of. And this was also the day that the radio became social to me, because this was the day when they started imagining a two-way use of the radio, where you can have announcements to the community, uh, updating them at certain times, at certain frequencies, um, on, on where to meet, and uh, if they started raining, you can have another broadcast. They also had the idea you can have an open community mic where you can call in and update if there's something interesting in your community. And this also touched upon the social media thing, reminded a little bit of a tweet to me. Um, so when you are on air, do you actually need to everybody to have smartphones, internet access, and be literate and fighting interfaces um, um, to have online communities when you can have on-air communities just using your old cell phone and your own voice? So uh, this also inspired me to go to the informal communities where you have a strong community uh, and it's very dense, uh, but there's a very, very strong community sense here. And I'm going to share a little bit of uh, video with you uh, on how that went. Sound? Identity documents so that they could be able to apply for their subsidies. Thank you. So now that's what I call a radio broadcast. <laughs> and um, for me also, it was this kind of no, a point of no return because I discovered there were so many ideas that deserve to be explored in the community that either you would have to invite a whole fleet of interaction designers to come and bother everybody, or actually you would need none at all because the community already knows itself what it could be interesting to explore this media with. And also you can see that even the children were able to do their own broadcast. Um, so instead of uh, trying to document all these ideas, I will just do as designers do when they're faced with a, a lot of uh, ideas. They will try to conceptualize it to create, uh, communicate the meaning. So here is another video of the concept we are trying now. Lunga is a community radio producer in Cape Town. This is his office. But actually Lunga spends most of his time on the road and doing fieldwork, meeting up with different communities. However, in the communities, people tell Lunga that they not always think the radio is relevant to them. The information is too general and they cannot share their opinions. This is why Lunga has started using Loboco Mobile. Loboco Mobile is a mobile radio station in a box running from a cell phone. Using Loboco, Lunga can help the communities he is already visiting to have their own localized radio broadcast sharing information that feels specifically relevant to their community. During the broadcast, the community is invited to share their opinion on what is being discussed by calling the cell phone number of the Lovoko box. This will put the conversation on air. People can also easily share content from their own phone by playing it next to the microphone of the Lovoko box. Lovoko localized, localized community. Yes, so although, yeah. Thank you for that. So now obviously I sold you the product. Um, but anyway, I will just share that uh, many people, they, they uh, ask me when I give the demonstration of the, how it works, that uh, how can I get hold of it? How many units can I buy? How much is it? 
Um, and I'll be giving this kind of little bit vague answers that it, exactly that we are giving it to the radio producers and uh, that you can talk to them to have, uh, have your own broadcast and all this. But I think maybe there's an answer on another level that maybe not always I've been brave enough to tell. And that is, you can do it yourself, South Africa, because this is not a product. Ceci n'est pas un product. It is actually uh, a process that you can involve in. Uh, and engage in and create the change. You have the local resources and skills, people repairing cell phone in the streets. You have, uh, I invited one of them to build a radio transmitter, the interest, he got very inspired in it and try in, uh, in making it work. And the local inspiration also shows these boys come to the cell phone repair people to learn how to do the electronics because they don't know where else to go and they can't afford to go to university. So to me, it's this thing that maybe I don't need to stick around so much anymore. Uh, you don't need my help uh, because I'm, I'm also going home tomorrow. I've been on an airplane. But what I definitely learned uh, with my radio journey here is that uh, also with radio technology, it's true that in beginner's mind, there are many possibilities and in the mind of an expert, only a few. Uh, so I think, I think that this equation about um, uh, using design to solve uh, the technology plus people equals wow. To me, the most inspiring thing is to let technology disappear, go in the background, not being a thing that is controlling so much, but more inviting play and new opportunities. Um, so we are left with the expression, people equals wow. And that's something I tend to, to be able to believe in. And I think that everybody within their respective fields have their own equation, people plus something equals wow. But whatever you do, I think you should not, uh, you should not uh, substitute the people in this equation. Always make it about the people equals wow. Uh, equals wow. Um, so I will end up with the words: a new beginnings begin with new, a new beginnings begin with new beginners, and uh, I will uh, show you some of my favorite radio producers that's been the most inspiring and the one with the most ideas to me of all. <laughs>